Good morning guys on this beautiful Monday, 18 May. Happy birthday to my youngest daughter Jessa. She's just turning 10 years old today, which of course is an amazing thing. In this video, we will talk about the Bitcoin price. We just opened a new weekly candle above a, like a downtrend channel, which is really bullish, facing a huge sell wall of more than 6,000 Bitcoins. We are also going to talk about Digibyte, why Jared stepped down from the project and why I can really, you know, feel his reasons why he stepped down. We are also going to look at the Ethereum price because that one is bottoming out in a channel and we could see some upward movement from here again. Also talking about Nike Air because these shoes would have been a great investment if you bought them in 1985 and had them signed by Michael Air Jordan because then you would now be the proud owner of a pair of shoes that were sold for more than 560,000 US dollars. Start to watch it and enjoy it guys. Good morning guys from Kopangan. Welcome to my office. A small jump and we are there. It is an amazing day. It's Monday 18 May. It's a celebration day for us as a family. Why? Because our youngest daughter Jessa just turned 10 years old. She was born 10 years ago. She wants to celebrate the birthday a little bit different than Romain. She wants to have a small party. She wants to have the presents. We got up this morning early to decorate the house as you can see uh, we bought already presents a few weeks ago by ordering it on Lazada because she is now in this Harley Queen phase so she wants to dress up as Harley Queen and all that stuff yeah, check out the presents we gave her this morning happy birthday my lovely Jessa I love you to the moon and back Maybe you watch the video and you will see these beautiful words, but I will say them in real life to you as well. The second thing we are celebrating today, guys, is that we broke the 4K hours watching resistance on YouTube and we are now a happy family because we can start to monetize our YouTube channel. And why does this make us very happy? Because now we are able to monetize it and share these revenues with the poor people all over the world and show this again in our YouTube channel so we can lead by example and show the people out there that you can also use your wealth to help other people. This is what we call sharing is caring. Keeping it short today because I want to celebrate the birthday with my daughter and to be honest I already recorded this video this morning very early but I forgot the dead cat. The dead cat is the thing on the telephone that reduces the sound of wind. I forgot it. So the whole video was useless because of all the wind sounds you could hear. So I'm recording it the second time today, working two times very hard to provide you of beautiful content. The content that you like most is the Bitcoin price because the YouTube analytics showed me that you love it that I show and talk about Bitcoin price first. So I will do this today again, but we have some other beautiful news. So keep watching till after the Bitcoin price as well, because there is some more news I wanna share with you guys. If it comes to the Bitcoin price guys, you know that I always love to zoom out. I always prefer to look at the weekly charts. And if we look at the weekly charts, the charts are showing some beautiful strength. Yes, we have been in this huge channel downwards from 14K till 12k till 10k and we are still down but now this weekly channel yesterday closed above this downwards channel so we are now opening above this channel line and that's above nine thousand two hundred dollars this is amazing news for bitcoin because we were in this channel for 46 weeks that's a long time to be in the bearish channel and now we broke out and this new candle can start to build on this channel line as a, as a support now. This is good news because it's very positive that we now broke out of this channel and we can continue the way up with the Bitcoin price. Also if you look at the weekly channel guys, um, the MACD is also looking very positive in the weekly channel. Um, if you look at the RSI, the relative strength index, also very positive on the weekly channel. Yes, we are above the line we should be with the relative strength index and mostly this you know says we are going to have a small pullback but if we look back to the 2017 uh, bull run we could see at that point as well 
that we stayed above the line a very, very long time. And we even went higher than the number we are seeing now on the RSI. So we will see what it does. But again, the breaking out of the channel on the weekly and, and the MACD being positive and the volume being nicely, I think we will see some beautiful upward trend the next couple of months. If you zoom in to the daily chart, then you can see hmm, we are in for a small pullback. The MACD is pointing downwards. The volume is decreasing on the daily chart. And uh, also the RSI is not showing strength on the daily chart, which could mean that the 10K resistance is the moment that people will start to sell their Bitcoins again and take some profit. And we will see a small pullback again to 9K or something. But, um, you know, we need to see what happens. The resistance is huge, as we can see in the order book, because the order book shows us that there is more than 6,000 Bitcoins being sold at these levels. So this means that if we want to break the 10K resistance, we need to buy up all these 6,000 Bitcoins, which is a lot of money. So what I told you yesterday, we are knocking this 10K door. We are knocking the door, but we need to knock a long time to do, you know, to buy up all these Bitcoins that are keeping us from going upwards. So hmm, let's do it. Let's just start to buy up all these Bitcoins, buy more than 6,000 Bitcoins and take Bitcoin to where it belongs to 14K so that our miners can keep mining in a profitable way and keep this network very secure. Some more news about other cryptocurrencies because people just like to invest in them. Ethereum at the moment is a good buy in my opinion. Why? We are just now nearing the bottom of this channel we have been in the last couple of weeks and this channel is now bottom out around 200 and if we go upwards from this bottom in the channel to the top of the channel or to the middle of the channel we would first go to 227 dollars and then even maybe to 240 dollars for me ethereum now is a good opportunity to buy and you know to even make a quick buck in the next couple of days weeks because i think ethereum will move upwards from here in the channel and try to reach 227 dollars or even the 240 dollars in the in the longer uh, term guys so these two currencies i am watching very closely together with litecoin because litecoin has in my opinion been too long around this 43 44 dollar area and i really think that litecoin has a huge community that is really building and is really driving this mass adoption of crypto all over the world in sports and all other um, assets of life so i think this price will need to follow up bitcoin as well so bitcoin ethereum litecoin i am always keeping my eyes on those three because that's for me like this golden combo to be invested in at the same time if we are talking about other currencies we can also talk about digibyte because these guys have some huge news what is the news the news is that jared tate just announced that he is stepping down from the digibyte team he is the founder of digibyte and he is stepping down i feel very sad because the reason he is stepping down and why do i feel sad because i feel the same way as he does about the crypto community at the moment the reason that jared tate is stepping down from digibyte is not that they just had a 90 percent run-up because that would be a stupid reason to get out or he needs to take all his profit now but the reason is that he finds this crypto community too greedy we have turned into a greedy wealth accumulating community I have stated this multiple times in the last year already, also in my presentations on stage, that I feel the same. We started as a big revolution a community where we wanted to, you know, disrupt this monetary system, change the world. And now we slowly have turned in this community that is just accumulating wealth and just in it for the price. Even I guys need to speak about the price daily to get my followers. And I want to get these followers so I can slowly educate them a little bit more about the true fundamentals of blockchain and Bitcoin. Don't get me wrong, I love the price as well. Yes, it, for me, the price was also the first thing that attracted me to Bitcoin and the whole market. Because you can achieve this beautiful free life because of investing in these currencies and even trading daily in these currencies. So for me, the price is also important because it's a huge attraction for other people to get them in this industry. But 
then again you know i am a real hardcore crypto fundamentals maximalist that just wants to drive mass adoption because i believe in the true fundamentals of cryptocurrencies and blockchain i believe in a digital peer-to-peer -peer cash that will provide us of the possibility of doing micro payments all over the world just by owning a telephone and not owning a bank account this is the goal for me to be in crypto i hope I can just convince you to see this as the biggest goal in, to be in crypto as well and not just for the price. But then again, I would love to see you guys making huge kinds of profits in crypto so that you can have this free beautiful life um, walking on the beaches where you want to be and doing what you want instead of being part in this system now created by the governments that almost is the same as the slavery like in the old days. I, I hope I can give you a little bit the mindset to break free from this enslavement governments and I hope I can give you the financial tools to earn a little bit with cryptocurrency so you, that you are able to provide for you and your family on a very beautiful way while you support the decentralizing of the world and taking back the power to the people when it comes to spending your money everywhere whenever you want. So to end it up, Jared Tate, yes, I agree with you. We need to change this community, but I wish you all the luck and all the love for the next couple of th years, whatever you are going to do, however you're going to decentralize or create decentralization in this world. Um, wish you the best, man. Some bad news, guys, as well today, because the Bitcoin fees have been rising up to the roof again with like 800%. We started with 30 cents and we are now around $3.50. This is too high to treat Bitcoin as a micro payment peer-to-peer -peer digital cash sadly but true but then again you know just go with the flow and use Bitcoin for what it is usable at the moment and this moment you can just use it as an investment tool or even as a store of value to hatch your devaluating fiat currencies into because I think Bitcoin has been outperforming a lot of fiat uh, currencies the last couple of years as you can see in the videos I already made like a few days ago so just go with the flow and use Bitcoin for what you can use it now and it will slowly grow in the future to peer-to-peer uh, -peer digital cash and if not then guys you just use all the other cryptocurrencies that do provide you of low fees fast transactions like for example Litecoin like for example Dash like for example Verge there are many cryptocurrencies that want to create a peer-to-peer -peer cash that is usable for micro payments and I don't think we need to fight about these currencies this one is bad this one is good this one is this no we all have the same goal the same goal of creating a new monetary system where we as people keep control on our finance you know where we decide where we want to send money how we want to send money how much we want to send and to who we want to send money because that is the importance we see we can see that cash is slowly disappearing all over the world guys so there will be a time we won't have physical cash anymore and at that moment we need a alternative to the physical cash we are using now this alternative is cryptocurrencies and we must never leave this goal out of sight Yes, you can be greedy when it comes to making profit, but if you make this profit, start to share these profits as well. I huddle my Bitcoins just beautifully till when I need to spend them. And if I need to spend them, I just exchange them to Litecoin or to Verge or to Dash or to any other currency that in this area of the world is used. Like in Thailand, a lot of stores in Bangkok accept Dash. In the Netherlands, Verge is accepted widely. In America, Litecoin is accepted widely. So I just use the currency I can use at that point while I'll still huddle my portion of Bitcoins for the long term as a store of value. And there is one more uh, fun news. Yes, one more fun news because Nike Air Jordans from 1985 was a very good investment. These shoes were just sold on Sotheby's for 560,000 US dollar. Imagine you bought these shoes for $200 in the past, then had uh, <laughs> Michael uh, just put his autograph on the shoes and now like 20 years or 30 years later you sell these shoes for $560,000 that would be a good investment as well I loved watching basketball because that was a time of Michael Air Jordan, Scotty Pippen and all these guys that were bringing the NBA into Europe that was just some extra news you know about investment 
that was all the news guys today i know it was not a lot of news but i need to celebrate the birthday of my youngest daughter jessa now so i wish you guys an amazing day an amazing week i want you to live this week to the fullest 24 7 day in day out oh and before i forget i still need to announce the prize winner of the t-shirt i will announce the winner of the t-shirt tomorrow morning as today i really need to celebrate the birthday with my daughter you have still time to comment with a beautiful text that you want on your t-shirt today and tomorrow morning you will see who the winner is in the next video so make sure you watch the next video tomorrow as well thank you for watching this one give it a thumbs up if you like it share it with your community and please hit the bell button and subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel so you will be notified on every new video i make Thank you for watching and see you guys tomorrow again. Bye.